If you want to learn how to make amazing product visualization animations like these inside of Unreal Engine 5, then this course is going to be perfect for you. Because in this course, we're going to be learning the basics of product animations inside of Unreal Engine 5. And we're going to be covering the whole workflow, including importing the models in Unreal Engine 5, texturing the models, lighting the whole scene, creating a whole studio environment around the scene, and then finally animating, rendering, and color grading inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now, this course is going to be perfect for all those who want to understand the workflow of a professional 3D artist and take their product visualization game to the next level. And not only you will learn the whole workflow you will also have two realistic animations uh, by the end of this course to maybe add to your portfolio or post on social media so if you want to take your unreal engine 5 product visualization game to the next level then this course is perfect for you enroll now and i will see you in class all right so now we're going to be making this uh animation right here so i'm just going to play it and i hope you can see it properly so this is basically sort of like a fake commercial for uh, the microsoft surface headphones although you can use literally any product which you want uh, this course is basically generally about product visualization and how to sort of create animations with uh, which are showcasing a specific product right so um yeah basically this is a very simple model we've used uh, some textures on it uh, the textures i think look pretty realistic we have also created the whole background we've actually used an hdri uh, the lighting is done custom and then we've done some typography and we've done the color grading inside of DaVinci Resolve, which I'm going to be showing you as well, hopefully. And yeah, I think the animation is pretty satisfying. It's pretty good. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. The first step. So the step one is going to be to find a 3D model. And so that um, I'm just going to go for, I'm just going to search uh, Microsoft Surface uh, Headphones 3D Model. Now you can essentially just, just search for whichever uh, uh, object 3D model you want. Just write this, uh, just write the thing's name and then 3D model. And essentially, uh, you're gonna find pretty much any model you want. Um, and so I'm just gonna wait for this to load. You can use Sketchfab or you can use any of these other websites. Um, however, I would suggest you to um, find a model which is very high quality, which is very good. So this model is perfect for us. Now it does have a uh, you can see some textures right here. However, it is not going to come with the textures, unfortunately. Usually, um, these models are uh, the sketch file models that do not come with textures. Um, so I'm just going to be applying my own textures inside of Unreal Engine. Um, so I think this model is really good. Just download the 3D model. And so the file we're going to be using is DAE. Usually FBX or .obj file is uh, preferred. However, since we do not have those, we can just use DAE. Uh, so I'm going to be essentially, I'm going to be opening the model inside of Blender first, and then I'm going to be taking it, uh, I'm going to be exporting it out of Blender in an FBX format, and then we're going to be taking it inside of Unreal Engine. So just download the DAE format file. Uh, I am not going to complete the download because I already do have it installed. I download it, so I'm just going to cancel that. You can uh, just use any of these websites. Um, I'm just going to show you some other examples. For example, you were looking for, let's say, uh, the Sony XM4s. Sony XM4 3D model. I think you have this one right here. Now, some of these models are paid, so just keep it. Keep that in mind. Just uh, be sure to just choose a model which is free. This is actually an XM4 gun. <laughs> That's not what we're looking for. Um, yeah, so you can essentially find a lot of these models. Uh, you might be able to, you might have to pay for it if it's not available for free, but uh, luckily for us, it is available for free, uh, the Surface model. All right, so I'm just going to open Blender. Let's go inside of Blender, and I'm just going to be importing that DAE file. So just create a new project, delete everything else. Make sure that you delete everything else because we're going to be exporting this whole project. Uh, so otherwise, it's going to have those extra items as well which are going to be a hassle to remove inside of Unreal Engine. Uh, so I'm just going to click import, and then we're going to go to Colada default, DAE. You can obviously search, uh, you can obviously select whichever one you want to import. For example, if you have an XP FPX file, then you can, you're obviously going to do FPX. Uh, so I'm just going to go where I have that model saved. Um, I think it was, right, so I was actually mistaken. <laughs> I do not have that model downloaded, so I'm just going to download it right now. Uh, right here so while this is downloaded I'm, I'm downloading i'm just going to go back to blender and let's cancel this for now uh so while this is downloaded downloading let's actually go ahead and set up our unreal engine scene um unreal engine project uh, so you can just simply go to games and create a blank project however what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be using one of my recent projects uh, actually the one which in which i did that um headphones animation uh so that we can basically uh, reuse the same project so that we don't have to import the assets again and again 
So that's what I would recommend you as well. Uh, if you're, let's say, making product visualization renders, then just have one project with all your assets which you need for product visualization renders and just use that same project for all your product visualization animations, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, that's what I do. Anyway, so you can just, uh, if, if you are creating a brand new project, then be sure to set it to Blueprint and make sure ray tracing is turned on if you do have an RDX graphic card. If you have an RTX uh, NVIDIA RTX graphic card, then make sure to turn this on because it's going to improve the quality slightly. However, if you can't, then that's perfectly fine as well. And start a content, just leave that on. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much. You can just name it whatever you want, save it whatever you want, and then just create. But I'm just going to go back to my main project and I'm just going to open that one. So while this is opening, I think our headphones have already uh, almost downloaded. So I'm just going to wait for those two things. Now, I do want to mention one thing is that you have to make sure uh, that the models which you're using is actually um, free to use and you do actually have the rights to use them. So you can just go down here and you're going to see that it says CC attribution, non-commercial, right? Uh, so you can use these for non-commercial uh, non commercial purposes. You can't really use them in freelance work or something like that. If you do use, uh, if you do want to use uh, a specific model for freelance purpose, then you might have to create it from scratch inside of any 3D modeling software. But I mean, that's beyond the scope of this tutorial. Anyway, so this, uh, this is completed. So I'm just going to open it like that. Let's open the source file, model.zip, okay, this folder, and this folder has the model, right? So I'm just going to be dragging this folder out in on my desktop. And so now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be going back to Blender. Let's go to file, import, and then we can just simply import the .dae file. Let's go to desktop and that same folder where we have the model saved. So just select the model, press import collada, 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 whatever that is. Um, and it should be imported. We do not see it, which means it might be really small or it might be really big. Yeah, so I think it's really big in our case. Uh, so the model is extremely big and it is clipping. So that is a problem. We are just gonna, I'm just gonna go down there and then I can just press S on my keyboard to scale it down. Actually, I might have to go up and then just scale it down like that. We can even go to the top view and place it on the center. Just press G and Y to lock it to the Y axis and then press G and Z to bring it down. Now, if you are using another 3D software, then you, uh, you're you pretty, you're probably familiar with how to move objects in your 3D software. Just, so just make sure that your object is, um, it's just, it just has like a reasonable size. Uh, scale does not really matter in our project because um, we're obviously not gonna um, do anything uh, which is related to maybe physics simulation or something like that. Uh, we're just going to render this in a vacuum so it doesn't really matter what scale you use anyway so it should be in the center of the project and i think we are good to go just make sure that your project does not have any inverted normals so i'm just going to click this button right here this button right here this drop down menu i'm going to press face orientation and make sure that everything is blue uh let's let's assume that something uh just one of these objects let's uh, let's assume that it was uh not blue it was red so i'm just going to make it red for the purposes of this tutorial let's assume that it was like this right how do you fix that you simply press tab on your keyboard to go to edit mode now this is for blender by the way uh, if you're using any other software then you're going to have to figure that out on your or on your uh by yourself unfortunately but you can find tutorials on that just press tab press a to select everything already uh, everything is already selected just go to mesh normals and then flip right so it should probably fix everything uh, fix the whole issue, right? So that's perfect. Now I'm just going to go to file, export, and then I'm going to export an FBX out of this. I'm just going to export an FBX in on desktop. I'm just going to call this surface head bones. I think that should be good. Export FBX and just give it a second to do its thing. And it should be done. All right, it's perfect. It's done. Uh, so I'm just going to minimize blender for now i'm not going to close it because we might have to do some tweaking later on you never know uh, so inside of unreal engine i'm just going to go ahead and create a brand new level so i'm just going to go to file go to file new level and then empty level so i like to start uh, i like to start from scratch especially in projects like these however you can use any of these if you want but empty level just works fine let's go down also by the way just ignore everything which i have right here uh you're obviously not going to have any of this so that doesn't really matter. We're not going to use any of these uh, materials. Uh, you can just save the level. I'm just going to call it um, headphones underscore surface underscore SS. 
right and so now we can just go ahead and import the model so for the model i'm just going to go ahead and bring this up you can just right click your content folder right click it create cl click new folder and i'm just going to call it surface ss and so i'm just going to go to my desktop uh you can just click right here to go to, to go to, to go to your desktop also i'm using windows 11 but pretty much everything should be the same for windows 10 as well so if you're using any version of windows it doesn't really matter that much so you can just drag your fbx file inside of unreal engine and just drop it right here so it's as simple as that um, and the default settings should be fine just press import all make sure that your skeletal mesh option uh, which was uh, available uh, there make sure that that is not turned on because that's going to mess up your fbx file um so i'm just going to wait for it to open right so we have all the files uh, all the uh, objects imported uh, so now i'm just going to select the first one go to the end and shift select the last one so it's going to select all the objects and then you can just drag it in your scene now the scale seems to be a little off it's a little too large for us so i'm just gonna uh, with everything selected i'm just gonna press uh, the scale tool and we can just scale it down like that just scale it down something like that should be good and we are pretty much ready to uh, start lighting the scene so for the lighting what i'm going to do is that i'm firstly going to be going to a window and then environment light mixer and then we can just add a basic lighting setup basic outdoor lighting setup by clicking all these button right, buttons right here we're obviously going to add our own custom lights in just a bit but for now just so that we can uh, see everything and we can start to apply the textures we just need a basic lighting setup which uh, which uh, this is going to do just as a, just the job for us one thing which i'm going to do however is i'm going to go to i'm going to go to skylight and i'm going to click this button right here which says real time capture so you're going to see it's going to make our shadows um reflect a lot more light and it's going to make your scene a lo look a lot more realistic right so let's start with um importing the textures and let's start with applying the textures but before that i'm going to go to add i'm going to go down to um usual effects and then i'm going to go down to uh, go to post process volume and once this is inside our scene you can just move it down just away from our scene so that it doesn't bother us and then with the selected i'm going to go into my details panel and i'm going to search for infinite and you can just see you can see this infinite extend button right here just make sure that this is turned on this is going to make sure that whatever uh, adjustments we make to this post process volume they're applied to the whole scene and not just to that specific volume uh, and so with that i'm just going to go uh, I'm just going to collapse this bloom option and I'm going to turn, uh, I'm going to open this exposure option. So I'm just going to set the metering mode to manual and then the exposure compensation to maybe something like seven or maybe nine for now. I think that should be good. We're obviously going to change this later on when we add our own lights, but this is just to make sure that uh, exposure isn't changing automatically. Right. So now we can just go ahead and start to add our textures.